Hi everybody, so I know it's been a while since I've made an iguana training video. This is the same iguana Gandalf as in my first video. And he's huge now, he's about doubled in size. But I wanted to show you some progress that we very gradually work towards um, in getting him to let me touch him. I've been using feeding time and just paying attention to his behaviors to um, gradually come up closer to him. You can see him closing his eyes because he's having a good time. He's got a little bit of shed. He's letting me gently tug at it. He's letting me give him scratches. And he has an iguana chow that I mix in with his greens and I call it his candy because as soon as he hears the rattle, he comes running for it. So we've got some better motivators for him now. We've gotten him very much accustomed to us. Um, the next goal is to going to be to try to lift him. Um, but I've been watching his body language. If he feels threatened, he will still, you know, kind of act annoyed at me and I back off. But um, through positive motivators and just being patient for years, I've gradually been able to um, touch this iguana without a big effort and um, even hand feed him, which I, I did get in a previous video. So that's how he's doing. I've had him, mm, I don't know, maybe five years now, uh, maybe a little longer. And this has taken a very long time. I have to time it around his feeding. But he really is doing fantastic for being an abused animal in who knows what kind of situation. So just an update. And Ollie will keep trying to work with him. Bye.